This is N6QW and I'd like to share with you my latest project which is a 20 meter single sideband QRP transceiver. It's uh, just about pocket size. It's in a box uh, 2 inches by 3 inches by 5 inches long. Quick tour here. Lower circuit board is the main board. It's got the crystal filter, balance modulator, product detector, bandpass filter, audio amplifier, mic amplifier, a couple of bilateral amps uh, through and in and out the filter. This upper board is the RF amplifier stage, both the receiver and transmitter. The uh, smaller heat sinks at 2N2222A, 22, and it's part of the receiver RF amplifier. There are two 2N5109s that are part of the linear RF amplifier change, and the 2SC2166. Takes a uh, 50 millivolt peak to peak signal out of the main board, and uh, we produce 2 watts. I have worked uh, stations across the United States from my QR, uh, QTH near Seattle. And with a small afterburner, I uh, have worked into Europe running about 80 watts. It does have functionality here in the in the box to uh, switch a linear amplifier. Part of this is this circuit right here, which is uh, a crystal switch heterodyne VXO, uh, about 60 kilohertz, and I've got two crystals. It gives me about 120 kilohertz spread on 20 meters. This functionality right here is you're looking at the relay uh, TR switch and the uh, low pass filter. I've uh, received consistently good audio reports with it and as I said uh, this is intended to be a pocket size uh, device 2 inches by 3 inches by 5 inches later in the video I'll, um, I'm going to uh, have you look at the receiver uh, when it was uh, more or less breadboarded and then uh, some uh, an actual on the air QSO again this is N6QWP and you're looking at my pocket size 20 meter QRP single sideband transceiver November 6, uh, Quebec Whiskey, Tony. Norway 6, Queen Willie. Yeah, good afternoon from the West Coast here. Good to talk to you again. Just uh, wonder if your weather has improved at all. We're, we're actually got into the low 50s today. So um, ho hopefully uh, it's a sign of better things to come. Well, I'll tell you, this is uh, this has been some winter, 
and uh, it just uh, it, it just amazes me uh, the severity. Uh, boy, uh, uh, major portions of the United States uh, really had very very unusual weather, and uh, I just uh, I hope spring is on the way. Hi hi. Oh yeah, you hi both. It's been a very very brutal one this year. Very brutal for most of the U.S. and up there in Ontario and uh, and as well in eastern Canada as well. So yeah, it's been pretty brutal. Be there no argument there. Hopefully uh, we're now into the, uh, the the clearing kind of and all that. We're through the worst of it at this point. It's in there at this time here. But lovely thing is always out of work. Uh, yeah, QSL, and you're good 5, 8 to 9, 5, 8 to 9. Uh, we got the afterburner today on the QRP rig uh, hitting about maybe about 80 watts. And uh, we, uh, we continue to do some refinement work uh, here, Tony, on the, uh, on the radio. And hopefully uh, we're going to get it all buttoned up here. But uh, this has sure been an interesting project for me. And nice to see that 20 meters is sort of perking up. I say, listen, I won't, uh, won't hold it there. It's been a delight and a pleasure again. And uh, we'll, uh, I'm sure I'll see, run across you here in the next day or so. VE3AXW, November 6, uh, Quebec Whiskey. Uh, Roger, Roger. You too, Peter. All the best to you. And, uh, and a lovely evening here as well to you and 